Recently, we were asked for help decoding this pilot weather report. So I just want to go over it and uh, maybe give a little bit better explanation. So this is one of the test questions that we have in our part 107 training. So these are just um, sample test questions of what you might get on the exam. All right, so here we go. First things first, please go ahead and download the Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement for sport, pilot, recreational pilot, etc., etc. So just do a search for Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement and then choose this one from an FAA website. Figure 14. This UA means that this is a routine PIREP. PIREP stands for Pilot Report, or actually Pilot weather report. The next thing is OV. This is the location. This is used for a PIREP only. The location of this particular PIREP is given here. This was reported between Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Next, we have the time of this report. In this case, is 1800 Zulu. Then we have the flight level. This is how high the plane was flying. And in this case, is 12,000 feet MSL or mean sea level. Then we have the type of aircraft. In this case, is a Beach 90. Then we have sky conditions. So SK, sky condition. And this is used for pirate only. Then we have the first layer, which is 1,800 feet broken. That's what the BKN stands for. All the way to 5,500 feet. And these are presented MSL or mean sea level. Then we have the second layer, which is 7,200 feet overcast. That's what the OVC stands for, overcast, and it goes all the way to the top, which is 8,900 feet. CLR is clear. ABV is above. So this simply means that it's clear above that top of 8,900 feet. Then we have the TAM7. TA stands for temperature, and this is for the PIREP only. So the temperature, M7, is minus 7. Temperature is minus 7. Then we have wind coming from 80 degrees at 81 knots. Then we have turbulence, TB, turbulence. Light turbulence between 5,500 feet and 7,200 feet. Then this report talks about ice. So ice is light to moderate between 7,200 feet and 8,900 feet. The question where this pirate appeared said the following. So refer to figure 14. If the terrain elevation is 1,295 feet MSL, what is the height above ground level of the base of the ceiling? And it gives you three answers. 505 feet, 1,295 feet, and 6,585 feet, all of them AGL. Obviously AGL because that is what we're trying to figure out. So both the weather and the pilot are given to us in feet MSL. But now we have that the ground level is 1295. The correct answer would be 505 feet AGL. And how we came to that conclusion is because the ceiling is the lowest cloud layer reported, which in this case is 1,800 feet. So, 1,800 feet MSL minus 
1295 feet, which is where you know that the ground is, gives you 505. So the lowest cloud layer reported is at 505 feet AGL. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.